Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's October 29th, uh, last trading day of the month. We've got a lot of uh, volatility already this morning. The dollar was sharply higher. Now it's trading lower on the day, which could have an impact on the grain markets as they open here this morning at uh, 7.15. They were lower on profit taking and concern of the uh, dollar firming up after yesterday's sell-off. Uh, the news that we've got to deal with here is the Fed meetings next week, the election coming on Tuesday, uh, we've got the USDA report the following week. So these are factors that are going to affect the grain markets considerably over the a period of time, on the, especially on those USDA numbers. We still got talk that we could have corn yields down in the lower 150s, uh, although our estimate is a 155 yield and uh, the trade averages are right around that 154.9. So uh, not expecting too much of a drop in uh, yield coming out of USDA on the uh, following Tuesday. The um, other news that's going on, uh, we did have um, uh, deliveries in soybeans, 551 contracts through the 10th of, or the 7th of October. We also uh, have got uh, Goldman Roll starting next week. We've got uh, Deutsche Bank uh, looking to do their uh, annual rebalancing. That could uh, start next week. We haven't got any numbers on uh, what they might do, but some think that they may need to be selling some corn and some soybeans in order to, to get their rebalancing in line. The uh, wheat market, uh, we've got dry conditions out in the Western uh, Plains, uh, Southern Plains, Colorado, Kansas, still very dry, uh, and with the crop conditions we've seen last week uh, going into uh, the winter, uh, not a real good sign, not a, a good start for the wheat crop there. So trade's concerned about that as uh, we do need a, a good crop next year to fulfill the uh, demand that uh, is uh, needed here around the world. The livestock market cutout values were a bit higher uh, yesterday. The uh, choice was up uh, uh, 89. Uh, select was down uh, 59 cents. So an adjustment there that we've seen over the last few days. We still got uh, demand issues. Uh, the uh, product is uh, starting to back up, and uh, that is concerning to uh, cattle traders, although futures uh, have settled down overnight. We're actually a little bit higher in the overnight session, but we did close below some key support area in the uh, December cattle. That could uh, uh, give us some direction here today. If we can't get above this 99, 50, 60 area here today, uh, we could see some uh, selling pressure uh, hit that market. In the hog trade, not a lot of news uh, and nothing really good to talk about there, uh, except that cutout values were slightly higher yesterday. Uh, cash markets are weaker this morning. Uh, look like uh, they could be uh, another dollar lower here today. There is uh, a lot of uh, slaughter expected on uh, Saturday, anywhere from 190 to 195,000 head, which is a definitely a good size slaughter there and uh, their packers are uh, slaughtering because there's a, a financial advantage for them especially with uh, buying these hogs as cheap as they can but in the uh, futures contracts we are uh, testing some uh, major support here and uh, which we need to hold the 6640 area in the uh, December contract needs to hold, otherwise uh, it kind of opens a gate for another couple dollars down. So watch that closely today as well. So if you got any questions, uh, give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. Thank you.